Krista. So today I wanted to do my in-depth hair care routine and how I got my natural hair as long as as long as it is. Um, so my hair, I have like a headband, so it's sort of blocking it. But um, this is my nipple, and then this is my hair. So almost bra strap length. Um, I'm a little over two years natural. I'm not going to measure it with the measuring tape just because I feel like I will become obsessed if I do that. Um, so remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. If you have not already, subscribe to my channel. Um, hit that little bell so you can join the notification gang and get notified every single time I upload a video. So let's just get into the hair care routine. Okay, so the first thing in any hair care routine is a shampoo. I have been using the Taylor Beauty, um, moisturizing coconut cream shampoo. I've been absolutely loving this. I did a whole review on their product line, so I'll leave the link to that like right, right, right here, right here I think it pops up. Um, but I love this because it's sulfate free, but it also um, makes my scalp feel clean. I feel like a lot of sulfate free shampoos do not do that. Um, another item I've actually been using with my shampoo is this group from Vanity Planet and what it actually is is a vibrating like shampoo brush um, so there's some hair in it because I've actually been using this but it's one of those products that you don't realize how useful it is until you have actually been using it so Vanity Planet actually sent me this um, a couple weeks ago and I have just been absolutely loving it it's like it's one of those things you look at and you're like do I really need that? And then we actually try it, you're like, yes, I really do need that. Um, so my biggest issue with sulfate-free shampoo is that it doesn't feel like it's really getting your scalp clean. And so I, when using this, like this is just, it gets that clean feeling to your scalp without actually using the chemicals to strip the products and to build up off your scalp. You're just removing it manually. Um, and I actually have like a non-vibrating one and um, I feel like this is just like, it like takes it to another level. Um, I like when the weather's all crazy, I tend to get like a lot of like weird, like dry scalp buildup thing, like stuff, but it's not, it's not really dandruff. It's like, I don't know what it is, um, but it's gross and it's weird and it's just very hard to remove from my scalp. And this has been doing a fantastic job of that. Um, so I would suggest getting one. Um, I would suggest maybe starting out with a manual one and see how that goes. But the difference between like my cheap manual one and this two is that these ones are like rubber and like the bristle things are like rubber and they move around. So it's not like, it's not like just the plain plastic ones that are just, um, you know, that can tear your hair and stuff. These ones are rubber and they're really soft and it's really gentle on your scalp, but it's also like, it gets it clean. So um, this has just been absolutely great and on top of that I actually just use these for scalp massage like sometimes like when I'm not shampooing my hair I just like use this as a scalp massage like if I you know my boyfriend's not around to give me one if it's not convenient for him you know I can do it myself um, so this has actually been fantastic I will leave a link down below in the description box so you can go check this out if you want um, if you're shampoo is just not getting your scalp clean like you really need it to then this um groove from vanity planet is an awesome thing to add into your hair care regimen um, and i would highly suggest it so the next product in any hair care regimen is conditioner so i use aussie moist um and i do not have it right now i i don't have it with me right now because my like drawer of hair care products is like jammed because I got so much crap in there um, and I just didn't want to deal with that but Aussie Moist has been my ride or die since day one you guys already know it gives me the best slip it's cheap it's huge it has a pump like can it get any better than that like no it really can't um, so Aussie Moist is my number one conditioner um, as long as a conditioner gives you slip and that's what a conditioner really needs to do is to give you slip so you can detangle your hair. Um, rinse out conditioners aren't gonna like, you can't like rinse it out and expect your hair to be like this silky soft, you know, whatever. Like it's just a rinse out conditioner. Like it's in your hair, you put it in there, you detangle it, you t get it out. Like, you know, so Aussie Moist is absolutely fantastic for that. Like I said, it's cheap, it's, it's, it has pump, it's just, just perfect. 
So the next thing in any hair regimen is a leave-in. So you guys already know what I'm about to say. You already know. It's aloe vera. Like, it's, it's always aloe vera. Like, use it. Spray it all on your hair. I don't drink it. I get that question. I do not drink this. Like, you can drink it if you want. I don't know. That's a thing people do, apparently. But I do not drink it. Spray it in my hair um, as my leave-in uh, after I shampoo and detangle. And what is... So yes, so my leave-in, I don't drink it, I spritz it. Um, I also do not put my aloe vera in the fridge. It says to put it in the fridge. I don't put it in the fridge. I don't know if that really matters. But again, the aloe vera I buy is made for people who drink it. So putting it in the fridge makes sense. But since I'm spraying in my hair, I don't really see the necessity. Also, it's huge. So I don't want to put that giant jug of stuff in my fridge. Um, it just sits in the bottom of my closet. So yeah. So after I use my leave-in, I use my Do Grow Mega Thick Growth Oil to seal my hair. Again, this is a day one ride or die product. Um, always using this. It's a little crusty, like some stuff gone or whatever. The only bad thing about this is it is so tiny. I go through these really, really fast. Um, and they are $5. And I feel like I have to buy at least like two a month um, because I go through them so fast. Uh, but it's just my favorite oil. I feel like it's just thick enough to seal without making my hair like oily and greasy. Um, it doesn't smell weird. Um, it's just, it's just my favorite thing. And apparently it helps your hair grow too. I don't put it on my scalp, so I don't know about that. But it is great for sealing. Um, and it is what I use to seal my hair. Okay, so the next couple of products are going to be things that I have not mentioned before because my hair care routine has changed a little bit. I have been learning more about hair porosity, um, and so my hair is extremely high porosity. Like, it can hold moisture, like, immediately, and it can hold a lot of it. Um, but the bad thing about it is because it can get in very easily, it also gets out very easily. Um, so I've been doing just some extra stuff. So after I do my oil, my sealant oil, I've been going in with the Shea Moisture um, Leave-In Conditioner. This is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil. Um, this is the one I always used to use, so I know it's good. Um, but I've been using this as, I've been using like the L, -O the L uh, Liquid Oil Cream, the L -O LLC method. Um, so I've been putting this on after my oil. Um, just as an extra layer of like sort of like sealing or deconditioning or seal. I don't know what it's supposed to do guys, but I've been using it um, So this is what I've been doing. I really love this is like bonus size one, but I, I, This is you know, I've been using this product for a very very long time I sort of just switched out this product for the aloe vera and this is sort of like my re-moisturizing product that I would use on and off um, but if I want to get like actual like cream leave-in, this is the one that I use and this is the one that I would suggest. Okay, and so the next thing, I've been using like the L-O-C-B method actually, and the B is for a butter. Um, so after that, I put this aloe vera, or not aloe vera, why is everything aloe vera? This Taylor Beauty, Taylor Beauty Everything Butter. Um, again, when I did the review, I told you guys that I love this. It smells amazing um and it just again is like another like sealant over the leave-in because even though i did all of this my hair i did my hair like three days ago like my hair is already getting dry just because it's so easy for moisture to leave my hair um so i've just sort of been doing like a little bit extra um so i absolutely love this i told you in the other video that i love this product and i also use this when I like retwist my hair. So I'll use my aloe vera and I'll use this when I retwist my hair. So I don't put oil on my hair when I retwist it um, just because I feel like it makes my hair too oily in the middle of the week. But when I retwist, I use my aloe vera and I use this. It's great for sealants. Um, it smells delicious. Like it just, it smells so good. So this is what I have been using for that. And then um, for my deep conditioner, I don't have it because it's shoved in the drawer that's full of stuff, but I've been using the new Shea Moisture High Porosity um, Deep Conditioner. I don't know if it's been working, but it, I tried, I'm trying to deep condition on a regular basis now, which is not something that I did before, um, just because I've been trying to just 
keep my hair moisturized and keep it staying moisturized um, and I think it's doing the job it was like buy three or buy two get one free so that was like my free thing that I got when I went to the store um, but that's pretty much my hair care routine I really hope I answered all of the questions that I get um, I I mean I've done this video before but I feel like my hair care routine has changed a little now that I've learned about porosity um, so that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!